there's certain dogs in your life that you feel so connected to that you feel like you know them in person even though you don't and one of these dogs to me is bomba bomba is jillian's dog and you may know jillian as luninate on youtube i found her i think it was seven or eight years ago something like that i found her through her asmr channel when my anxiety was on an all-time high and her energy her work through her channel has calmed me in ways that have made it possible for me to keep working get at least a bit of restful sleep and overall just gave me the hope that at some point it'll pass and it did pass so i'm forever grateful for jillian and her work when bamba unexpectedly passed a couple of months ago i felt like i wanted to give something back it wasn't immediate because i felt like i needed to let some time pass to let jillian heal i'm very grateful to her that she gave us a little bit of a backstory um, on how she got bamba and what it meant to her to have him so i'm just gonna pass the word on to her and let's have a listen papa was born <laughs> on june 6 2011 i wanted to be a parent for i don't know i don't i don't want to say forever <laughs> but i really knew that like i wanted to be a mom and this plays into bamba because i feel like this is like one of the first things like bamba kind of like helped me with or healed me with. Living with Greg, we have like a cute little apartment. I'm working for a detective agency <laughs> and I wanted a pet so bad. I was sending Greg Pac-Man frogs. Oh, can we get a Pac-Man frog? I was sending him, <laughs> uh, I don't know, like lizards, um, like as in just like videos or images or whatever. You know, he kind of wasn't on board. So I just like never really acted on anything. But there was one day that I went to the Staten Island Ferry and I was on the Staten Island side waiting for the boat and I was waiting outside and there was a lady with a Pomeranian and a group of people walked by that were kind of like noisy, like a bunch of kids or something or like a bunch of like teenagers or whatever. And she just like looked down at the dog and was like, you want to get in your bag? And then like put the bag down, put a bag down. And they just looked like they like connected so much like the dog totally understood her and it was being really chill, just like watching people and like watching the boats or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, like I want a dog like that. Like I want a dog that from that moment on, I was like, no, I'm gonna get a Pomeranian. Like I'm totally gonna, <laughs> I'm totally gonna get a Pomeranian. So like from there on, I just kept looking up Pomeranians and searching for one and blah, 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 and sending Greg please 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 like please can I get one please 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 and finally just like wore him down <laughs> or maybe it just like resonated with him too maybe and um he was like okay fine like yeah so I sent him a picture of like this little girl one and he was like actually let's get this one and this was like Bamba who was like a blue merle and like way fancier looking um it feels weird to call dogs fancy, but like, you know, he was like a fancy dog. He came on a plane. I had to pick him up at the airport. I had to set up the apartment. And like, you know, like it was like having a baby, you know, it was like you needed so many things and had to bring all this stuff to the airport in case he had low blood sugar or this or that or whatever. So I'm like waiting at the airport, at Newark at this like weird level that you have to go to to pick up the pets. And like all these like dogs are coming out like in big cages and they finally covered Bamba out and it was like he was in a lunchbox like the the carrier was so tiny <laughs> like it was fine because he was so tiny but um they like brought him out and I got him and I brought him into the car and was in the back seat with him and I just wanted to like make sure he was okay so I opened this little like crate door and this tiny little fluff came like bouncing out and like kissing and like jumping all over and just was like so cute, so freaking adorable. Got him back in the carrier, got in the front seat, drove home. My brother stayed in the back with him and just like made sure he was okay and everything. And yeah, just like brought him home and he was, he took like, even though he like jumped out at us right away and was excited to see us, he really took like a long time to like really warm up to you, like to the point where he would like cuddle with you or something. Really wanted to be a mom 
And Bamba, like, let me experience that, like, caring for something and prioritizing something and, well, not like he's a thing, but you know what I mean? And, um, taking a little time off from work even to, like, be home with him for the first month. Well, like, I worked from home. I was able to work from home, so. Yeah, just really, like, kind of got my energy aligned to, like, that caring, kind of like nurturing mommy kind of side. And I thought that like I couldn't get pregnant because my doctors told me it would be really hard for me. So like they just said it would be really hard for me and blah, blah, blah. And I got pregnant like, I don't know, I got him in August, I think. He was born in June, got him like August. My mom passed in September. And then I got married in October and found out I was pregnant in November. So it was like very, very fast, like August, September, <laughs> October, November, like all of it, just really quick. And I feel like Bamba had so much to do with that because it like shifted my energy so much and so much back to like what was important to me versus work or um, this feeling of like something, like a facet of myself was missing or a facet of myself wasn't being um, explored, I guess, like in that nurturing way. His personality was, like I said, he was very Gemini. Like he was so sweet and so kissy. When, when I got him, his name was Romeo because he would just like kiss all the time, <laughs> like, very like licky. But at the same time, he was very like, <laughs> very like territorial with like other dogs and people and stuff, like very much like a siren dog or like an alarm dog that would like let you know if anything was up, like heard something outside or uh, fireworks or a bug in the house or anything. Like dude would just like bark and bark and bark and bark. He just reminded you always to like connect with things that are otherworldly because he never really fit in <laughs> like even his grayscale coloring like just stood out so much in the world it was almost like the world would be gray sometimes and baba was there like in bright color like it was like this weird contrast of like to connect with like nature or like be in the moment or connect like with the ethereal in a sense because he was just so like otherworldly thank you so much for listening and holding your heart open for our stories that we tell here. If you want to have a look at the finished artwork, it's on Instagram for you to look at the pictures and the links to Jillian's channels are down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk very soon.